Okay, hey, hey everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to create a tutorial with Game Maker that shows you how to create bombs for your physics worlds. Okay, so to do this it's relatively simple. We're just going to start off with nothing but a ground um, sprite and a box sprite. So let's make the ground one. It's just called SPR ground. Now, uh, you don't have to follow the names I'm using, or the variable names, or anything like that. These are just what I'm using. You, so, yeah, it doesn't really matter what you call them. Yeah, so I'm just going to make it 32 by 32, and it's just going to be black square. Now, you don't have to do this, but I always center my sprites. And then we just want one for the ground. So, sprite ground. and that's just going to be 32 by 32 as well and I screwed up a little bit there it's not going to be called, called sprite ground, that's box sorry this is a sprite for the box okay and yeah I'm just going to make that a green square and I'll send that as well okay now we're going to set up the actual physics world so we'll start off with the room and just get the room set up so you want to go into physics tick the room is physics world and I set my gravity normally up to about 40 or 50 okay and now we can get into the objects so first object is going to be object dynamic parent and we'll parent all our dynamic objects so anything that moves in the physics world to that okay and then our next object is going to be object static parent so any physics objects that don't move and are static will parent to this one okay and now we need to set up some collisions so go into object dynamic parent you could also do this in static parent if you want but I've always just used dynamic parent and set a collision with itself and just write collision in it, doesn't actually need any code. And just duplicate that event for the static parent. And that'll control our collisions. Alright, now we want a new one for the ground, so just call it OBJ ground. Give it the ground sprite, tick users physics, set the collision shape to box and hit OK on that and then just set density to zero okay and now we need one more object for a ground sorry not the ground I keep doing that for the box and just give that a box sprite tick users physics give it a box collision shape and that's fine um, parent that one to the dynamic parent because that one is dynamic and the ground we want to be static so we're going to parent that to the static parent okay now we can get into making the actual bomb so create one more object and call it something like object bomb simple as that and go into your create event and we're going to make two variables one's going to be the key we're going to use to detonate the bomb so just call it detonate and I'm going to set mine to B and then one more for the amount of power in the explosion and I'm going to set mine to 50,000 just like that okay now we're going to get into what actually makes the explosion when we hit our key so we'll start off by checking if the detonate key is pressed so if keyboard Keyboard check press detonate then do the following code. Okay, and then with object dynamic parent, so anything that is dynamic, we're gonna apply the explosion to. We first wanna get two variables, so the 
dear x is for direction x and dear y is for direction y and then dear x equals length direction x and in here for the length we want other dot p which is the power variable that we just sent and then point direction x y other dot x and other dot y and then times that by minus one to make it a negative value so what that's going to do is at first when we do it so take so pretend the minus one's not there that code there would give dear x the direction towards where the bomb is but we don't want it to go that way we want it to go the opposite way so we times it by minus one to make it a negative value or positive if it's already negative All right and then we pretty much just copy and paste that code for direction y so just change that to y and change that to y and that's done okay those are the two variables we're going to use for the force so to tell it like where to push the object now for anyone that doesn't know this with object dynamic parent what that's going to make it do is inside any object dynamic parent like instance that exists in the room it'll scroll, th scroll through them all one by one it'll execute this bit of code for every single one all in the one step so with the first one it'll just run through this and set the variables for that and then we're going to set the force to it soon and it'll just keep on going through over and over again until it's all done so now we want to tell the physics like we, w we want to give it a force when it explodes so it's going to push them so physics apply force and then x y so that's where it's going to be applied so we want it to the object that we're pushing we just want it its x and y to be pushed against and then direction x and direction y okay now other dot p that's the power that we're putting into the explosion there and then that just gets the direction and that's it so when i press b for mine for yours it might be something different depends on the key that you set it to um... the explosion will go off so now we've just got to add our objects into the room okay so we'll start off by making a ground I'm going to put mine right around the room, but you can just put yours on the bottom or wherever you'd like. Also depends on your gravity direction that you set. So I'm just going to make four walls on each edge. Just like that. Okay. Next, I'm going to add in some boxes just in random places, doesn't really matter. I'm just going to chuck in a bunch of them. Just like so. And then I'm going to get my bomb object and put it down the bottom around the middle. Okay, um, what you can do with the bomb object is say you had like a bomb sprite and it had an animated fuse going down to the bottom of it and you wanted it to explode when that sprite had animated all the way to the bottom all you do is set that animated sprite as the bomb sprite and then in the bomb object you can instead of using the step event and a key to detonate it you can just copy this code here to the um, animation end um, function, so let's bring a view down for you. Do you see animation end? If you click that and use that function, then you can add in a bit of code, cop paste into there, and then as soon as the animation ends, so when the fuse hits the bomb, it will explode. And then you'd also want to destroy the instance once it had done that, so that it doesn't keep looping through it all. But yeah, that's just something else you can do if you wanted to. Anyway, get rid of that and that should be right we'll just run the game and make sure that's all working okay I might just pause it while it compiles and then I'll bring it back once it's all done okay here we go 
So we've got all our blocks like just bouncing around there, and then when I hit B, nothing happens. And that's not what it's supposed to do. Oh, there we go. It seemed to be really laggy, but it got there in the end. Okay. So when I press B, the explosion happens, so that is all working. So yeah, that's how it's done. Um, hope you liked the tutorial. If you did, like the video. Um, if you've got any problems, comment or send me a message. Just through Facebook. Not Facebook, sorry. Um, YouTube. And I'll help you out with anything like that. And um, also, if you want any tutorials made, like I, I don't have a lot of things to make tutorials on. I just make them as I figure stuff out. I just tell you how to do them. If you've got anything that you don't know how to do, if you want to send me a message on YouTube, then if I know how to do it, I'd be happy to help you out. I'm not going to ask for credit or anything like that. Like I'll just make the tutorial just so you can learn. But yeah, um. This would also work on devices, except instead of having detonation or something like Ord B, you want to like do a left click or something, and then that would do the same thing. But yeah, um, thanks for watching, and I hope you liked it.